Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, this video will be very useful to the students who are taking NTA Net English examination in the month of May. Especially here I have discussed how to prepare well for the Net English examination in a very very short duration. Considering the time, so we have just roughly 40 days. So if you have the time frame in your mind, you maximum you may spend only 10 days for paper 1 and you have just 30 days for paper 2. So because the net examination starts from May onwards. So if you consider the exam pattern, so already you know this, paper 1 50 questions which carries 100 marks and paper 2 100 questions which carries 200 marks. Together, 3 hours duration, total 150 questions, 300. So the passing qualifying pattern is for general in paper, minimum they have to score 40 and uh, paper 2, 40 percent, percentage. OBC and others, paper 1, 35 percentage and paper 2, 35 percentage. In spite of the fact how you, whether you score 35 percentage or 40 percentage based on the percentile so they are allowed to qualify for net examination or just uh, GRF. Dear friends, this is the syllabus. So if you consider the first four units, drama, poetry, fiction, short story, non-fictional prose, how much you study, though you study the most important works, though you study based on the uh, years, ages, everything. So there will be always something incomplete. So you may have to work really hard. So what you have to do, you know, you have to concentrate more on the remaining units. Because in the first four units, from UG, PG, you might have become familiar with so many works and writers. Whereas unit 4 to 10, it has got the limited uh, syllabus so that if you con concentrate on these units and prepare well, definitely you can go nearby the margin. For example, unit 5 language, so ELT, uh, unit 6 English in India, history, evolution and futures and unit 7, 8, 9. So these uh, three units concentrate on literary theory and criticism and unit 10, the new edition, research methods and materials in English. So these units, if they are concentrated well, definitely a student from English literature can pass very easily. If you take paper one, we have 10 units out of which unit one, two, three, four. So in general, English literature students are very strong in these areas. If we allot five questions for each unit, so out of 20, so the maximum marks you should be able to score in these four units because most of the English literature students, though they clear paper one and paper two individually, they do not get the required percentage since they score very, very less in paper one. If you are able to score 70 percentage of the marks, that is if you make 35 questions correct, definitely you can pass net examination. Then with some input in mathematical reasoning and aptitude, logical reasoning and data interpretation out of 15 questions, if you are able to score around 10 or 9, definitely you can make 40 questions right in the paper 1. In addition to that, we have uh, information and communication technology, people development and environment, higher education system. Uh, these three units are basically content oriented. If you just uh, study the right material and listen to the relevant lectures, definitely you can score more marks in these units. Uh, dear friends, whether you pass or not in an examination, that will be depending on how much you score in paper 1. Because in paper 2, the scope is relatively limited. So even the best student scores around us, uh, 60 percentage only. So if you score more marks in paper 1, definitely that will help you to cross the percentage. Dear students, now you have two options in front of you. Number one, if you have registered for uh, Net English, you have to take the exam effectively in the month of May. 
or you have to prepare well for the exam that is to be scheduled in the month of November or December. So why should you study now itself? The reason is if you study well in the next uh, 40 days especially the students who are uh, studying first MA and uh, second MA and uh, they do not have much time because so mostly the students are taking their semester examination in the month of April so definitely you may not find much time for preparation in spite of your regular preparation if you are able to spend some time three to five hours per day for in for net examination definitely you will have advantage so last time let me tell you one fact so most of the students though they got registered for net examination they did not go for writing the exam because of the corona pandemic season so it's around 40 percentage of the students did not turn up for the examination so what happened last time the percentage went very very low so the students who did relatively well they cleared the examination dear students this time also it may be like this the stu registered students may not come for writing the examination so if you prepare well in the next 40 days then if you attempt the exam there is a possibility of the lower percentage and you can clear the examination so this is point point number one point number two if you aim for november or december examination if you prepare sincerely for this exam definitely you will become familiar with the exam pattern and the way the questions are asked you will be better prepared so though the examinations will be over in the month of may if you just continue your preparation till november definitely you will have an additional edge so dear students whatever may be it is your examination if you want to become an assistant professor of english in a college or university the basic thing is you have to clear this net examination don't wait for the time and don't procrastinate like uh, hamlet just act immediately like macbeth so that you can prepare well and write the examination well if you need any assistance please call us and all the very best for your examination thank you see you